Biotech this year and today we are going to take a look at the ultimate apocalypse mod namely the latest version as of February uh, 2017 yeah and to be more exact uh, it is the 1.885 version okay so before we start this installation guide I want you to, uh, guys to install your Dawn of War Soulstorm, patch it to the latest version. Obviously if you are having the Steam version, all the patching is done automatically. You just click on that install button and all is done. If you are having the CD version, either you find the patches online using Google or try to get the, the Dawn of War uh, Soulstorm steam edition because let's be honest it's more convenient you can still find multiplayer games so yeah plus right now i think there are some uh, sales so this is the perfect time for getting Dawn of war anyways once you have everything done like soulstorm installed uh, and also if you are having older versions of Ultimate Apocalypse, I'm not sure, but I would suggest that you reinstall Soulstorm, get a fresh install, especially if you are having the anti-core exe, which gives you 4 gigs of RAM, because today we are going to use something new, and it, it is not compatible with that exe, so fresh install for the win, I guess. Okay, so once you have your uh, fresh install of Dawn of War Soulstorm, then you want to go to the Ultimate Apocalypse mod, uh, mod, DB, mod DB page. And obviously I'm going to leave links in the description so there won't be any problems. And then you want to scroll, the, either click here on, as you can see, summaries, articles, tutorials, and you have files. Let me just open that in a new tab or scroll down till you get to the download section or the files section. And here we have um, several options. We can either get the UATHB version 1.88.5 full, which is a direct download thingy, or you can get just the torrent file. So if you have some uh, BitTorrent or something like that, you can download it. And then what you are interested in is also the LAA Large Address Awareness Patch. So this little thing is very interesting. Namely, if you, some of you might remember, there was an NT Core Exe, which gave Dawn of War Soulstone 4 gigs of RAM. Now, the problem with that Exe was that every time Dawn of War Soulstone got patched, that exe would reverse the patch in a way, so it will go back to uh, an earlier version. With this, on the other side, it just changes the 4 gigs, so it's a lot easier, it's a lot better, and if you have a, a, you know, a higher version of Donovor Sosam, this won't change it, okay, so you still have the same version. And I'm not going to install the Dawn of War mod manager because I never used it and I think we can uh, install the mod without it. If you are, if you want to install it, be my guest, but in this tutorial we are not going to do that. I, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Anyways, so let's go to the tab that I just opened and yeah, as I said, either the full or the torrent. And just right click on whichever one you uh, want or left click for me like new tab anyways and then just click download now and it, this window should pop up and click either here download UA THB whatever or mirrors but technically it should automatically uh, direct download that thing because I'm doing this because I see a lot of people having problems downloading saying that it doesn't work, which obviously I'm showing you guys it works. Let me just cancel that, because I, I already have the file. If for some reason it says you cannot download it, either try to log in, or wait, I, I don't know, five minutes, and try a different mirror, right? Because sometimes maybe the servers are 
overloaded or something and you might need to change them. Okay, and then get the LAA large address awareness patch. So we uh, kind of dealt with, uh, oh, actually, before I forget, let's go to the UA that thing in the full version. And in the description, we can find what, and oh, apparently there are also um, mirrors here. So if you are really having problems with downloading from ModDB, you can always check this mirror here. I just clicked here, as you can see in the description, and there should be a button, a button saying check more or something like that. Okay, so let's see the requirements. Okay, the full installer, right? You will need 10 gigs of space on your computer. Great, the Dawn of War Soulstone, Objective Points UA, which uh, it's already included in the installer, the Tyranid mod and the Chaos Demon uh, mod, but it says it's, okay, so we only need the Tyranid mod, so how do we get it? You either go here in the description or check the description of the YouTube video and you'll find the link to the forum uh, relic news thingy. So Lower Cylon. Um, made here a post with all the um, race mods available for Dawn of War Soulstorm and we just have to find the, there we go, the Tyranids mod for Dawn of War Soulstorm, perfect. And we have several options, either we, either we click here or here, or let's just go directly to the Tyranids download. And there we go, and click on that, perfect, and it should automatically install. So that's all the downloading you'll have to do in order to install the mod. So now that we've done this part with the Chrome, let us let me close it. I've created a, a, a folder called Tutorial, obviously, um, where I have all my files that I need to install the mod. And in the other window is, is the Dawn of War Soulstone folder, just in case, I don't know if I need it. Anyway, so the first thing we want to do is let's install the Tyranids mod. Okay, let's just wait for that. Right, click next, next. And it automatically found my installer. Perfect. And you need the 0.5b to, to be exact, like the Tyranids mod. Uh, if it doesn't automatically find your installation location, you should uh, manually click on those, right? buttons, dots over there, and select where you've installed your Dawn of War Soulstone folder. And make sure the last thing is Dawn of War Soulstone uh, written, right? No uh, additional folder should be created. Great. So, now everything is done, and let's click Start. See how fast. And I can also check the progress here in my Dawn of War Soulstorm folder. I should have a Tyranids, yeah, there we go, a Tyranids folder and a Tyranids module. Perfect. So basically it's installed. Whoops. Let's not rename folders right now. Now that we've done that, we want to install the UATHB full version. And man, this installation got a lot easier. I'm glad a lot Lord Cylon has worked on that. Oh boy. So let's see. Hopefully there is no music. No music, please. No copyrighted music. Okay, come on, let's see. Apparently, it's quite a big uh, file. It's 1.9 gigs. So that's not... Not uh, bad. Uh, okay, maybe I'll have to pause it because my po potato box apparently cannot launch an exit. Eh? Okay, I'm going to pause the video and see. Uh, oh, never mind. There we go. Perfect. Yes. So now it loads the installer. Okay, I agree, whatever. 
and does it automatically find yes it does automatically find your installation folder if you have it installed in steam i'm not sure about the cd version but it should work uh, the same for that if it doesn't then browse and select the proper folder but apparently it does its job so let's click next and here we can select what we want to install I don't know want to install if you want the Dawn of War man mod manager then leave it checked open browse that yeah okay never mind we already installed the Tyranids mod so we don't have to worry about that and let's leave that out for now the shortcut thingy we just want to install the THB full version. Perfect. Okay, is it? Yes, I guess it's installing right now. Do we have any new folders? Or is it just creating a general archive which I will have to. Uh, I, I have no idea. So I'm going to resume the video once this installation is done, so see ya in a bit. Okay, so completed. Now we can also check our Dawn of War Soul Store folder and there we have it. We have the Demons, Inquisition, THB, Trinids, yeah, and our WAD files, I think, module, never mind, too, mu too much doom for me. Okay, so module files, perfect. And let's close it. And the last thing we want to do is the 4 gigs patch. So, and yet again, I repeat, this is not compatible with NT Core Exe. So, yeah. And I guess we'll have to find the Exe. So, let's see, where did I install my Dono? There we go. So Steam, Steam apps, common, and we just have to find. There we go. Perfect. And I guess we'll have to patch the exe, right? Yes. So you just have to select the exe file where you installed it. So executable successfully patched. Perfect. Okay. Great. Perfect. Everything is done. Technically now Ultimate Apocalypse can be played. So, see ya in game. Okay, so here we are. As you can see in the upper uh, left corner, if I am correct. Um, Dawn of War, uh, Dove, Engine 1.3.3, whatever, whatever. UHTHB, New Factions, so it works with all the other thingies. 1.88.5. So it is the latest version and if you are entering Soulstorm and it uh, doesn't automatically load Automata Apocalypse then just click here game manager and select whichever one you want so either THB the hunt begins so basically that's without the new factions like the Tyranids Inquisition and Demons and with the new faction obviously it gives you those things perfect and you can also play the Tyranids mod separately or Chaos Demons so let's go back, let's check the army painter. Huh. Okay, that's changed. I remember that it had some kind of a background, but hey, who am I to judge? So we have some... Let's actually see the Tau. Yeah. Tau Empire. Man, I'm so glad it... Uh, okay. And I do need some more army thingies. Uh, let's see, Great Narlock, okay, that's kind of a kind of crisis, let's see something new, come on. Okay, that's different, right there. Hazard, yes, new stuff. Is there something that we didn't... Reclamation, yeah, look at that awesome vehicle. Hmm. Actually, Riptide. I wonder, does this newer version have something really cool or... Is it... Huh. I'll have to play to see if... 
there is something new for the Tau, would be awesome. For it to be real. Okay, so standard. Anyways. So it works. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next time how to install. Also let me know in the comment section uh, what do you want to see. Like what mod should I show you how to install. Anyways, see ya in the next video.